Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine friends. Well friends, thank you very much for your comments and suggestions. So friends, if you have any information or any comments, please leave it in my comment box so that I can assist you. Uh, one thing friend, I have received this, uh, I have received this uh, parcel from Hyderabad. So friends, let's, let's check it out what's the inside the box. So this is to power supply, simplest power supply. Keep this aside. So friend, these are the two power supplies sent by one of my YouTube customer from Hyderabad. See, this is the this board. This is you see output is 28 volt DC and 7.1 ampere. Both are same. See, both are same. So friends, this power supply, SMPS power supply, belongs to uh you know boxer led parkan it's a branded uh, company it's a boxer led parkan 54 led light boxer one so this power supply belongs to that 28 volt dc output and 7.1 ampere ampere is 7.1 so this both power supply belongs to boxer led parkan light so let's check out what's the issue in, the, in this both so this one is already seen very badly burned inside see the black black very badly burn. So very badly burn. If I show you, very badly burn inside. So let's check out what's the. This is badly burned, so I cannot put the power inside, and this might be fluctuation. He said one is badly burned, one is fluctuating voltage. Voltage is fluctuating. See this capacitor also burned. See, you can see here. See. Maybe because of this, or we need to check it out. Anyway, let's check it out both. Just keep watching my video, guys. So, guys, we need to remove all this holder. So one by one we'll remove so so that we can check easily from inside. So friends, I have already removed. So I will see badly burn here. You can see very badly burn. Very badly burn here. See black black all. So we need to. So keep this aside. We need to remove this two capacitor. Very badly burn. See the condition. Very badly burn. See. You can see now. Very badly burn this. So we need to remove this MOSFET also. The two MOSFETs. This is also damaged very badly. So guys, I just use holder to hold this piece. So friends, we have removed this uh, MOSFET. So now we'll check the status of this MOSFET. Uh, what is the status? This is the internal MOSFET. The number of this MOSFET is WNK90Z. 
okay see this is shorter very badly shorted we put on buzzer range drain and source is shorted here also same showing in ohms so this is confirms this shorted so what else we will check in this there is a diode also here this also diode also gone so we need to remove this out to confirm we will need to take it out this one so this is the diode we will check see showing ohms 31 34 ohms so it is showing ohms see so this diode also faulty so far we found this three faulty so now what we will do guys what we will do we will see it completely black so we will take it out this part one two three then we will check So guys we have removed these three things now it is, is clear we can work over here this is diode see the edge is good so it is not shorted It is good. So, what the resistor? This is the resistor. Six ohms. This is also good. This is seventy-three kilo ohms. Yeah, seventy-three kilo ohms. 73 75 kilo ohms okay so this is 75 kilo ohms exactly because of violet violet green and orange this is 75 kilo ohms so this three things is good so now what we will do we will clean this See guys now. No, I 
100 this is 150k this is 150k you see 152k so this is good So it's perfect. So guys, uh, we'll just clean. So now, whatever the parts I remove it out, I already fix this one. This is resistor, 6.5 ohms. This is diode. This is resistor. This is resistor. This is 150k. This is 75k. So now, totally, what are the faulty parts we found is see this capacitors we need to replace both are defective okay so we need to replace uh, these two mosfet and channel mosfet and one diode so these things we need to replace in this so and also uh, the track is broken over here so we'll join this track and this track from here is already connected from backside see this one so no need for this one already it is there so just we will join this track in this track then we fix all the new part already the damage track so now we need to fix this is the new these are the new cap and channel mosfet okay and diode and we'll fix two capacitor also this is the capacitor. so this is the new so guys now we'll start fixing this one Okay, now these two MOSFET we need to fix. This is the new MOSFET we'll fix now. So, guys, we have fixed diode, we have fixed two and ten MOSFET. The number of this MOSFET is W. And the 9NK 90Z, this is the 900 volt, the 9 ampere. Okay, so now we'll fix this two capacitors. So, guys, we have fixed everything, but two is also open. So we need to change the fuse also. See fuse also open.
so guys we have changed the fuse these are the parts we have replaced in this two capacitor main filter capacitor two internal mosfet one diode and one fuse so these are the spare parts we replace in this power supply this is very high ampere power supply 28 volt dc output and also 12 volt dc output there are two output in this and one is 7 ampere 28 volt dc so now we'll fix it back in the so we'll fix it back we'll just clean this one so we'll fix this back and connect all the things so we'll fix all the sink everything so we'll put it on so guys we have fixed it back everything so now it's time to check so we'll put it on and check so this is 28 volt i will put it on now i will put it on i put it on see 28 what is came yeah you can see here led green led light is uh, on it means our power supply is okay so here this is this 14.5 volt and this is 28 volt so we can vary this one if you want see this is 14.4 volt so it's almost 14 volt so guys this is working perfectly so as you can see we have replaced this two capacitor main filter capacitor two internal mosfet one fuse one diode so these are the defective parts we have replaced with the new one so okay guys if you have any comments any suggestions please leave it in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video take care see you very soon next video bye